All right, guys. Uh, we're going to talk about modifying another light bar tonight. This is what AMT MPC is calling a twin sonic. Uh, but that's really not the case. This is more, more like a Code 3 SD bar. But we're going to modify this and turn this into an actual twin sonic with cascade mirrors. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of all these uh, plastic nubs that are in here, okay? Because this just isn't this just isn't correct. So take a pair of nippers and just break them right off. Get rid of that. Get all the nubs removed. I'm going to take our knife. This is why my knives are always so dull. And kind of scrape this down a little bit. Save us some time when we go to do some sanding on this. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we need to remove some more material. Grab me a sanding stick here. So we want to remove all this material here on the inside of this bar. So I got a very rough sanding stick. Just going to take it on here, lay it flat, and we're going to sand that down. Always remember to check your work. Keep checking your work as you go. Come back to the other side. removed and that surface nice and flat nice and flush our original domes still fit they still snap into place okay but what we want to do is we want to make some internal guts for this thing. So we're going to start with some pieces of 10 by 156 strips of styrene. These will become our cascade mirrors on the inside. All right, here it is. The stuff's very, very thin, very flexible. Now what we're going to do, I don't know if this is actually going to show up or not, but on, on your cutting mat down here, well, on mine anyway, my blocks are in one inch squares. Okay. And then they have divisions in here for a half, a quarter, three quarters. They're marked all the way down. So to make this cascade mirror, we need three pieces. I'm trying to get to a 
point here where you all can see. But we're going to make these these three individual pieces different sizes. So I'm going to start here at the at the edge and count out one, two, three. Make a little cut. The next one we want smaller, so we'll go one, two. Make a little cut. The next one we want a little smaller, so we just cut out. One piece. Now remember, we have to make it for both sides, so let's do that again. One, two, three. One, two. And then one. Believe it or not, those will become our mirrors. Need some glue. And what you're going to want to do is lay these out. And all we're going to do is glue these in succession on top of each other. So we'll hold this a little bit. Just a, just a drop of glue. You have number, number three laying on the table. Pick up number two. Lay it right on top of it. Try to square it up. It's going to be impossible to see, but now we have two layers on there. And then we'll do the same for the last one. You're just going to lay it on top. We need to square it up, top and bottom, and with an edge. I highly doubt, because this is all white styrene, that it is showing up. But I think you can tell that we do have three pieces in there. Okay, so we'll set that aside, and we'll put our second set of mirrors together the same way. Make sure everything's nice and square and flush. Two of them together. One little drop of glue. And then we'll put the third top piece on. What I like to do is squeeze all three of them together. And then push on one side because you want one, one end even. All right, so it's just that simple. Now we have our cascade mirrors. The next part of this process is putting the cascade mirrors in. And they will go in just like that at a, at a nice little angle. And when you snap your cover on it, you can see them on the inside. You can't really see them right now through the camera with these colored domes, but I do have something sitting over here drying to help uh, better show this. Okay, so we've removed these nubs. We've made our mirrors, which literally took a minute. Now we got to make our rotators. So let's go back to our trusty box of fashion jewels. 
okay? Five millimeter. So we're gonna bring this over. We're gonna pick out four five millimeter jewels. Now what we're gonna do, you can see one side is clear. One side has a flat chrome surface. You want to glue the clear sides together, just like that, okay? Just basically set them on top of each other. So we just take a small dab, super glue, stick it on there. Set it down on top, give it a little press. Try to flip them. If it doesn't roll, that means you are, you have them together fairly square. They're not, one's not setting higher than the other. So we got that together. Let's do the same for the other side. Just a pinch. Stick that on there. Flip him over. Okay, not rolling. Pick him up. There's our second one. Okay. Now what these are going to do, these are going to set inside our bar like that okay that's going to give us our rotators on the inside now unlike <coughs> excuse me unlike when we made our busy bar Remember how I explained how the flash pattern on this worked. If you had a flash to the front on this one, this one had already flashed. This one was already over here. So you would have a flash, 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 flash. Well, the Twin Sonic was set up to flash together, okay? So you're going to want to make sure that our bulbs that we're making are actually sitting the same direction of each other. Now, it doesn't matter if you have them sitting together, if you have them angled towards the outside. I can't do anything left-handed. If you have them angled to the outside, okay? Or if you have them angled towards the inside, they just have to be the same. Because these flashed together, and with the addition of the cascade mirror, Once we put that in there, okay, it would give the effect of the the light would be rolling. That's that is the effect that it gave. So we're gonna pause right here. Um, I have to do some chrome work on these. I have to let these set up a little bit so we can remove the chrome on those okay and then my other little piece over here is still drying it's not not ready to be touched yet but then we will come back for a part two and assemble this light bar thanks for watching